decorating my dining room. Now, some of you have expressed an interest in seeing uh, how I decorate each room of my home. So I'm gonna be starting here with the dining room. Uh, now, I do not have any kind of degree or education or anything like that in decorating, none whatsoever. It's just something I love to do, and I do not have a particular style. I actually call it Lita style because, yeah, it's just a hodgepodge. If I see something that I love, I purchase this, whether it's old, whether it's a uh, brand new, you know, it could be an antique. Um, it's just whatever that appeals to me. Uh, so in this room, there's going to be things that are brand new, uh, things that are very old. I have some things from my mother-in-law, some things from my mother, some things uh, I got when I lived in England. So I have some uh, English pieces in here. Um, also, there's a, a, a decorative piece from South Africa from my daughter-in-law who, who lived there for a couple of years. Uh, so it's just kind of, uh, you know, whatever makes me happy. That's how I decorate. Uh, and I find that that works best for me. I don't want to just follow uh, a particular style because I'm just uh, a bunch of styles. So anyway, I'm going to show you around the room and let you see kind of what it looks like before I start it. Now I have hung up some things already on the walls. I just thought it'd be kind of boring for you to see me hang things on the wall. So anyway, um, but I'll let you see what I've done so far. And then we're going to start with this piece over here. Um, this came from my mother who uh, got this when she was in England. So um, that piece is just like it was. It hasn't ever been refinished or anything. It's an original condition. So there's some uh, dings and things like that in there, but I love that. And then I'm going to also be decorating my hutch, which you cannot see, but I'm going to be doing that one as well. So let's just go ahead and get this started. Okay, just starting over here at the window, I did purchase uh, these side pieces. Now they are candle holders, uh, and I purchased candles to go in that, and there's just an iron piece over the window. I love wood and iron mix, so um, that's what I did here at the window. Of course, here's the sideboard that I'm going to be decorating. Um, now I hung these plates up already, but these plates are called Boston's, and I did get these when I lived in England. Absolutely love those. Uh, they're very unique. And here is my all of my stuff that I would really uh, love to use in this room. Some of it may not be used. I don't know. So we're just going to play that one by ear. Also, here is my hutch that I'm going to be accessorizing as well. And over here, I have not gotten um, this wall done because I still am looking for the pieces. Um, I haven't unpacked them yet. So anyway, there we go. So let's just go ahead and get started uh, with this sideboard right over here. Just remember that um, as I decorate, uh, I'm probably going to be talking to you because I get in, in the, the mode and yeah, so it's hard for me to do both. But um, anyway, uh, I just decorate, like I said, whatever makes me happy. So when you're decorating, if you like a piece, put it in there. Uh, you know, if it doesn't match the rest of your house as long as you like it, at least that's the way that I feel about it. And uh, as long as I'm loving what I do to my home, and that's all that matters. So uh, anyway, going to get started. Now, this flower arrangement right here, uh, I made this flower arrangement um, and it made it safely all the way from Mississippi. So I was so happy. And the colors in it are really go uh, with this house. So I was very happy uh, that I was going to be able uh, to use this in this home. Here. I'm going to add these candlesticks here. Uh, I believe that we got these when we were in Wales. Okay, so these two candle candlesticks, uh, I do want to incorporate here to give it some height back here so it kind of matches my lamp on the other side. So I just need to get something here to give it some height. I'll have my put my husband to work on that. Uh, but I also do have some uh, candles that kind of match the painting here and I'm going to add them 
um, to there as well. This will give you some idea what it's gonna look like. Uh, it looks something like, yay, something like that probably. And um, that'll add a lot of height over here to match the other side. So that is going to be, have to be finished a little later. Okay, so this piece is finished. And uh, overall, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, who knows, I may tweak it <laughs> in a couple of days, not really sure yet. But overall, yep, that makes me happy. Okay, so <laughs> the light up here may be a little strange because I am like right up at the ceiling here, standing on my ladder, going to decorate the top of this hush. Uh, and some of, now some of these pieces, they were just, uh, some of them are new. Some uh, were given to me uh, by my mother. Um, others were from, even I even have a piece here from my grandmother. It was an old uh, coffee grinder. So that piece is going up here as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started now. Um, I did kind of play with this down on the floor and <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, but you know, kind of organized what it would look like and um, then we'll go ahead and put it up here. And if I like it, I'll leave it. If not, well, I'll swap it all around. Won't be the first time I've done that. I'm going to put on uh, this china that my mother-in-law uh, gave me several years ago. Uh, she's passed away now, but um, she is English, so she is from England, and so she gave me some fine boat china made in England, So, and it's Royal Stewart, so that is the pattern, I'm assuming, that's on um, this china, but so uh, this means a lot to me because she's no longer with us, so uh, that's gonna go here on this top shelf, and uh, I, it was so sweet of her um, to give this to me. Now she did give this to me after my, my father-in-law passed away and she downsized her home. So um, I just uh, appreciate her giving this to me. So it means a lot to me. So it's gonna go here, right here on this shelf. is absolutely gorgeous here. I did have it in my last home in the kitchen, but I much prefer it here. It has a whole nice uh, shelf and it can display um, you know, my uh, tea set. So um, as you know, um, tea in England is very important. And my mother-in-law drank tea uh, from England, you know, as, as long as I, as I knew her. So anyway, um, love it, love it that I can add it here on this shelf. Okay, so this next shelf, I'm going to put up some, um, actually some more china from England that I got when I lived there. And I absolutely love this because, let me show you. It has a picture of a thatched roof cottage. Can you guys see that? Uh, see if I can get the glare off. Maybe that is a little better. Uh, a thatched roof cottage in England. And I absolutely love these homes. And I used to stop when they were rethatching these of these homes and I thought it was very, very fascinating. I don't know if they still have a lot of them over there. I I'm assuming that they do, but just was gorgeous. And um, a little story, <laughs> hope y'all don't mind me telling a little story. My husband and I used to take walks um, and um, 
you know, everybody walked in England a lot when, when we lived there. And we would walk, walk by this lady's home and she lived in a thatched roof house. And she was always in her garden, uh, the most beautiful garden uh, that I that I ever saw. I mean, oh my goodness, she's out there all the time. So uh, we became friends with her. We would stop and we would talk to her and um, she would have us in to tea. Oh my goodness. And the home was just, it, it was one of these and it was just gorgeous. And uh, so when I see this on this plate, it always takes me back to that sweet lady. So uh, this was made in Staffordshire, England. Uh, I don't know if I said that right. I'm sorry if some of you are from there and I said that wrong. Uh, but it's Royal Kindle and it's fine bone china and I absolutely love it. So it's gonna go right here on this second shelf. And uh, this next uh, piece is that I'm putting up these little uh, crystals, uh, the butter and the sugar and um, creamer and the salt and pepper uh, shakers my mother-in-law also gave to me. And this has a little spoon, which I can't find yet. I haven't unpacked it yet. <laughs> so anyway, that's the second shelf. And I only have this bottom part to decorate. And so let's just go ahead and get this done. Okay, y'all, so now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate uh, this last part of uh, this uh, hutch. And uh, I'm gonna incorporate uh, this basket that my daughter-in-law gave to me. Uh, and it's all the way from South Africa. So I love throwing little pieces in there that, you know, like, wow, where'd you get that? <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this part. bottom part of the shelf all done absolutely love it uh, you may have seen me put a couple of pieces like this like over on the buffet uh, it's called carnival glass uh, my mother gave it to me she used to collect carnival glass and uh, when my my dad passed away she downsized her home and so gave me all of her um, carnival glass so I love to incorporate that into my decorating because it's they have some very beautiful pieces so um, anyway, absolutely, and the, these books, I gotta tell you this, another little story, but when um, my husband and I lived in England, uh, we moved into an old, old home, and these books were uh, there. Uh, they left them there in the attic, and I was so excited to get them because they are quite old and fragile. Uh, so I love to incorporate even things like that into uh, my decorating. Okay, so my hutch is all done. I'm so excited to finally be getting some of my decorations out and uh, getting my rooms decorated. Now it's time for the table and it's kind of a mess right now. Uh, so I'm gonna see what I can do with that. Okay, so go ahead and get started on the table. Now I did purchase these recently. Uh, I saw these in the store and absolutely fell in love with them. And when I fall in love with something, that's, that's when I get it. Uh, but I saw them, thought they would be so perfect in this room. Uh, so I purchased, they came as a set, so there's three different sizes, and I purchased the candle, candles uh, to put on them. Um, but then I'm going to set the table. Now, part of this you're not going to see, because this is going to be one of my craft tutorials coming up this week. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that to you in just a minute. Uh, but I just got these little chargers, you know, they actually what you set your plate on. But uh, these just sit out there. Mine in particular are, uh, they're just kind of plasticky. <laughs> I got them at Hobby Lobby uh, for like $1.99. Uh, now from this way, they don't look like plastic, but yeah, see, look, they're plastic. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm just gonna set each one of those at um, each, each chair. And um, these are mostly for decoration, but you can, you know, uh, when you eat, just set your plate on there. Uh, a lot of people do that. I just do it for looks. Um, but anyway, let me set one over here. All right. So the next thing I want to do is add a napkin uh, to my, my charger here. But of course, I could not find uh, the napkin ring that I liked. So the next best thing is to put one together that I liked. 
Uh, so I did find these little metal candle accessories. They're a little flower. And uh, they have a pin on the back and you can stick them into your candle and accessorize your candle. Uh, and which I may do that, but just to kind of match my nappy ring holders. Uh, but I will be taking this um, sharp part off of the back here. I will just cut that needle off of there with um, some pliers that I have. And um, I will be gluing them um, to a, a napkin ring and using them that way. Um, and if I had not been able to find the color that I like, they would also have been painted, but I happened to find the perfect color, so that worked out great. So that is a uh, craft tutorial I'm going to be showing you how later on this week, and I will show you what the table looks like when it has those on it. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I enjoyed doing it for you. It was a lot of fun. I love to decorate. It's one of my favorite things. It's another passion of mine, uh, and like I say, I just decorate... Um, you know to what makes me happy and some of you may say well what about your husband the decorating he says is all mine and he's happy to give it to me and as long as I like it and love it he likes it and loves it so uh, he's really sweet like that um, but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to see more like this I know I am going to be doing the um, um, guest bathroom as well but if you want to see more, I will uh, be also happy to uh, share some of this with you. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.